welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun for me to film a little chit chatty video about two new palettes that I picked up. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I feel like there's a lot of people out there that advocate for Natasha Denona. And I feel like there's less for Pat McGrath and I feel like both are very inspiring. Pat McGrath I think is a little bit more well known of a makeup artist but I believe Natasha Denona is also a celebrity makeup artist. Um, she is from like Israel or somewhere in the Middle East and then Pat McGrath is British, right? Yeah, she's British and she's a very well known um, makeup artist and she works a lot in um, like fashion and stuff like that and has just created many iconic makeup looks. So I've been a fan of Pat McGrath. Uh, for a while now. I, I can't say I'm an OG because I didn't really know about her until she created a makeup line But ever since then I have been a huge fan of her product And I've actually managed to find a small community here on YouTube that actually love Pat McGrath Even probably more than I do, especially when it comes to buying her product. I'm talking to you Kat um, If you guys don't know Kat from Rented Fashion, Pat McGrath is like her favorite makeup brand and she buys everything that Pat McGrath comes out with. So she just bought those really nice metallic lipsticks that she came out with in the sparkly packaging. I know Kat was all over that. So she'll probably have a swatch party video up and if I remember, I will link it down in the cards. Anyway, so I just thought I would just talk to you guys about both of these palettes today. And I actually just filmed my review for the Natasha Denona palette and realize, okay, so these two shades, the top one is Natasha Denona and the bottom one is from Pat McGrath. So those two shades are very similar and that shade is called Lemon something, what is it called? Lime Chrome in the Natasha Denona palette. It's actually one of my favorite shades in the palette. So I thought it was kind of funny that both palettes had a very similar duochrome like that. And those shades in the, um, in the Pat McGrath palette, we call them the special shades. Um, and usually when Pat McGrath does bigger palettes like these, these four shades are usually very unique eyeshadows. So it was interesting that they were so similar. And yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about these palettes. So Pat McGrath, very luxurious feeling packaging. A lot of people get really annoyed with this packaging though because all her big palettes look the same. And there's no way to tell which one is which from looking at them. So I know a lot of people like label their palettes and stuff. I clearly haven't graduated. To that level of maturity but eventually I will. This is my bronze seduction palette and I'm actually trying to pan this palette in the in a year so we're doing October 2018 through October 2019 and I will kind of link that information down below if you want to see the playlist where we're talking about that project but I really like this palette a lot a lot a lot. I love the neutral shades it's just an easy palette if you want to wear it every day, you can. If you want to bump it up and, you know, go from day to night, you can. These topper shades are gorgeous. So I already knew I was going to buy this palette, like, no matter what. Like, I had no problems. When it comes to Pat McGrath, I rarely hesitate to buy her eyeshadow palettes. Natasha Denona, on the other hand, not such a huge fan right here. So I'm very skeptical when it comes to her stuff. I feel like there's some shady stuff she's done as far as not being very nice to influencers. Like I know in particular, the Fancy Face had a little issue with her. So I didn't always have the best taste in my mouth for Natasha Denona, but everyone on YouTube loves her stuff. And so, you know what? When the gold palette came out, I'm such a big fan of neutral eyeshadows. I was like, ooh, like that actually looks really good. I hope it has good formula. When it first launched, I didn't even want to buy it. And I was like, nope. I'm not gonna do it. But after a few days, I was like, fuck it. Like, I wanna buy it, I wanna try it. And I did, and I love it so much. So both of these palettes, I feel like they're sort of different, right? Um, they're, you know, the shade ranges, this one's very like fall, I don't know, more warm tone, neutrals. This one's got that pop of blue, that green shade. Um, some interesting similarities, but also differences. But I like them both so much. I don't think you can just have one and then not have the other. I think they're unique enough where you can justify having both. Except for that one shade, of course, because they're clearly dupes. But yeah, I just love these so much. I wanted to show you guys a little, you know, side by side in case you had been contemplating either of these. I honestly love them both. So if you want to buy them both, I would be totally supportive of that. Here are the swatches of the Natasha Denona one. I can swatch the Pat McGrath quick 
But yeah, I hadn't seen anyone kind of compare these two palettes, so I thought, hey, let me make a quick little video and show you guys both of them and just tell you how much I love them, as if I haven't done that enough already in my reviews, but why not? Because they're amazing. And um, if the Sephora sale is on, you really don't have an excuse not to buy them because they're like such a good deal right now if you can get 20% off. So there's the two palettes. I mean, yeah, there's some shades that are similar, but I think you can easily have both. And yes, they're pricey, but they're so worth it. They're so, so worth it. So hopefully I kind of helped you guys understand why I love both of them. I, I, I just do. I think they're so fun. I love that there's a bunch of extra mattes in here too, because um, there's 15 shades in this one, 10 in the Papagraph. They're about the same price. I believe Papagraph is 125, this is like 129. Love them both. I feel like if there was like a fire currently in my house and you were like, Karen, like grab some eyeshadow, I would just grab these two and save myself <laughs> and my pets and my husband. That's about it. Maybe some important documents. I don't know. Anyway, I love both of those palettes, guys. I hope you found this little video useful. I just wanted to compare the two palettes and tell you that they're both really great. So you should just get them both, okay? And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.